Hi guys, welcome back to CS Technology. Today we are going, going to learn guys array in JavaScript guys. How to use array in JavaScript. So this is a one of the most important topic guys. So kindly please don't miss this class. Today I am going to teach you guys from uh, basic to high level guys. Okay, how to use JavaScript array in JavaScript. Uh, for that everyone uh, please open the vs code guys once you open the vs code so we'll just type html See guys. after html guys inside the body tag we need to take p tag as usual guys we we did last class right so we can take any any class id name demo in that guys we need to just type script take the script tag guys. okay this is a basic thing guys. so which we need to take so if you don't want to take this if you don't want to write in html javascript in html guys so we can write in uh, javascript directly guys we have an option also okay we can do that as well and guys so now we'll go for we'll take uh, array guys for array what is the array symbol guys you can see this is bracket guys so this is the array symbol okay I will take uh, just will store cars guys okay so my main thing is uh, I will tell you guys about array array is actually guys so we can uh, hold the more than one value guys and we can store the multiple values or if you want to retro any particular value so we can retrieve that guys I will show you how to do that okay I will take array guys uh, we can uh, write anything here you can write uh, car names okay I will write BMW and I will write uh, bench here. Bench and I will write Audi. I we can write Lamborghini as well. Lamborghini. So these are things we can write, guys. So now how to store that, guys? Okay, for that we need to type document dot get element yid we can just take demo guys see demo dot inner html guys simple guys you can you can just type here cars see guys now we'll see the demo how it works and it's here it's reflecting BMW We go for live class I think that will stuck Yeah guys it's stuck guys actually Just I have removed I just open the live server as well guys kindly wait for that meanwhile you can do like this also you can just copy this path copy the path paste it here guys okay see guys we can see here right just remove that see guys BMW, Bench, Audi, and Lamborghini. You can see all the data here, guys. So if you want to retrieve any single data, guys, in that. So if you want to only display Lamborghini, what we need to do. So in that case, guys, we can just take here. Just type here. Type, uh, you can type particular. Particular data. You can just take this. See, guys bmw 0 1 2 3 guys okay if you want to display last one you can just mention 3 here instead of car you can just type this see guys you can now how it will and just press oh that's why we have taken this Okay, so we need to take your car as well, no? yes. because array knows only number. 
so array doesn't know which object we are going to store here guys okay for that we need to type that object name here guys now we can see that and just refresh see guys lamorn it's pretty simple guys okay so that's what why we are going to use array guys and also guys array so commonly what we will happen so if you want to take any multiple car names guys in the single model also we can use array guys okay so there are a n number of objects are there how to use array so we have some more functions also guys so we are going to learn that you can just comment this guys so here guys if you want to add any things in that guys so for that what we need to do you can just type the cars guys you can just take this and here guys you can just if you want to add something in the beginning you can just type here zero you can just mention it you can what we are going to audi bench you can take bus guys okay if you want to add a bus so simply we type and we just remove this type cars now we can see that it's see guys it's added in right bus so instead of first place guys if you want to add in the mid of the place what we need to do can just simply go to that just refresh see guys bus is in two right it's a zero one two right simple thing is if you want to add if you want to remove all the things are there i also in that case we have a two string as well so it will uh, do same thing only i don't want to change those thing guys i am going to teach you only which are the main function and uh, we can say like which is important in guys okay you now while we going to join any organization so where we are going to so this those thing only we will learn here guys okay how to do instead of that we have a option called push and pop as well guys okay how to use push and pop i will we are going to learn that the same example only guys i will be teaching all the things okay you can just remove this we need to take the function also guys here you can just type guys here push which one we need to add oh, so you can take one bicycle you can see guys see guys here it's reflecting how many objects we have guys so one two three four and this is a five right so push what it do guys so it will reflect the how many objects we have currently in uh, our object value guys okay so it's reflecting so if you want to reflect that we need to take the function guys actually function key has to take so oh, for that simple we just type function guys here function my function you can take take as yes simple thing we take cars push Just type here bicycle. Okay? So instead of this, here, here just remove this. Now we'll see that. Bicycle is not a date. Let me check, guys. yes yes for that guys we need to learn function value guys function we can't give guys exactly here so that's the reason it's not coming guys okay in next class guys while we learning object class so i will teach you guys more thing about that okay so as of now just uh, leave this yeah guys as of now we are going to learn guys only array no no we don't want to learn any 
objects in the array class guys okay and uh, let's guys so uh, we'll we have a option called uh, pop as well uh, pop also guys pop it will remove the value guys if you want to remove this last value it will remove again i think it will come in uh, object only let me check guys whether it works or not see guys it's working i have taken pop right so pop what it will, it will do guys only end of the value it will reflect here right? see you can see right so push also it works guys. i don't know why it's not working we'll see once push guys or else uh, we'll learn deeply yeah guys. push it's actually reflecting the numbers guys i don't know why it's reflecting only numbers last time it was reflecting four right now it's reflecting we will see guys okay and pop it will reflect only for a last object guys <clears throat> and array guys we have a you know, how to create a new array and how to create a new objects also guys we are learning today so for that we can take task and see guys you can new new also what it will do guys it will uh, add the value guys see guys there are two arrays okay let's show you this. So guys, if you want to create a new array simple thing you can create guys nothing will display because we have not given any value here so this is a one of the other thing guys where we can use the array in html and we have also a uh, type of guys okay which type of in the case we we can find the integer you can find the string value so we can do that guys okay and uh, we have a guys array pop array push shift unzip join delete concat split slice so these are thing only basic things guys so if you open any uh, website so you will get this thing guys okay so i don't want to waste our time and also i don't want to waste my time as well so here guys so these are the basic things is how to use array for array we, we have to use uh, the square bracket and uh, if you want to create a new array this is a format and this is a format guys where we are using the array guys okay so that's all guys today class for more videos kindly subscribe my channel and follow my channel guys thanks for watching